Hello and welcome to our tutorial on how to create a post in WordPress 3.0. My name is Cherie Pearson of PearsonCommunications.com and I'm here to show you just the basic function of how to create a post in a WordPress site or blog. Okay, so we're starting out on the dashboard screen. This is the screen that you're going to see as soon as you log in to your um, WordPress account. And so we're here at the dashboard and we want to open up a new post. So we would just simply go to posts over here on the left and we're going to click on add new. And so for this particular post, it's going to be an article I've decided. And the title of the article is all about the willow tree. So I've entered the title in this top section and I'll, I'll just walk you through step by step on exactly how to do this. There are two different views for your editor. This section here is uh, what would be called your content editor. And what you want to do is, first of all, click that button to expand so you have all of the options. And really building your content for any particular post is very similar to writing an email or if you're familiar with using Microsoft Word or other programs like that for word processing. Now, you'll notice that there's another tab here. In addition to the visual editor, you also have an HTML editor and uh, you, where you can put the HTML code. This section will automatically be populated if you enter information into the visual editor side of things. And I'll show you what I mean right now. So um, I've already got my content that I want to add. And so I've copied that from, um, you, from my notepad. If you have are using Word or just a text editor, um, you can click on the Word button. And then this pop-up comes up and you click on Control control V at the same time and it'll automatically paste your text from Microsoft Word or if you are using just a regular text editor like I did in this situation I can click on the text button and I'm uh, clicking on control V or command V if you're using a Mac and it just entered all of the information right there uh, for me. So um, one thing I noticed as it entered the information is uh, that I don't have any line breaks or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and I'm going to select it as if I'm entering it from Word. And um, again, you'll get the same result if you don't have any particular type of um, formatting already built in. Okay, so um, I'm going to cancel that. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead with the visual editor click on command V and paste in the information that I have. Now the first thing you want to do if you have a copy and paste situation is go ahead and separate your paragraphs uh, which I've uh, done here so that the paragraphs will all be separated properly and you get the best appearance for your particular article. Uh, so I'm just clicking through and separating my paragraphs. If you used Word or other um, types of word processing programs, then this formatting is already done. In, in my case, I didn't use that, so I'm just clicking through in order to separate these paragraphs. And I also have headings in there too, and I'll show you how to fix that so that they'll stand out appropriately in your article. So now that I'm just about to the end, I've got uh, one, one more pair, two more paragraphs to correct. Now we can go through and add the formatting for our for our headings. Uh, if you want to see this in a larger format, you can click this toggle button here, and it'll it'll go to a full screen type of mode for you. Uh, and in a lot of cases, when you're editing, it's very helpful to have that. Um, so I've got these subheadings here, and maybe I want to make those bold. I could also change the size if I wanted to uh, by going to this section here and selecting if I wanted it to be a heading. Um, and in fact, I think in this case, that's what we'll do. Uh, so I'm, I'm making these uh, headings, and I just went back to the first one to go ahead and we're selecting heading number two for it. And uh, I'll keep going. Oh, and in the first case, we made it bold. So we can just take that bold off because the heading makes it larger anyway. And we'll keep on going down until we get all of our, um, all of our headings properly formatted. And again, you won't have to go through these steps, but I wanted to show you how to do it manually in case you are actually um, 
creating your post directly in this editor. There are a couple reasons why I would make sure that I wasn't uh, creating the post directly in the editor. One is that if something happens with your browser, you lose your connection or you go to save it uh, and, and, and there's an issue, then you wind up with a situation where you've lost your information. So I find that it's always best to write whatever um, information I want to transfer to my site into another document, save that, and then copy and paste it from that document. So now that I've done, uh, done that, I'm going to go back to my regular view by toggling that blue uh, square there. And now we're back to our regular view. So um, I see what it looks like visually. And it looks, it looks OK. Um, you know, I realize now as I look at it, and, and you can always go back in and tweak um, anything, that there may be too, the gaps may be too big right before the heading. So all I'm doing is just going back and checking those gaps and making sure that I fix that so that it'll look right once we get it um, formatted. So the next step, and this is one of, I think, the most important things about having any type of article is you want to have some type of visual appeal. That means that you want to have an image of some sort or a video, whatever, uh, but an image will usually do in this particular article or anything you're posting because nobody wants to open up a site or page and look at just an entire page full of text. So what I've done is um, I'm going to go and find images. And if you don't know where to find images on the web, see our tutorial on um, how to find free images for your WordPress 3.0 blog or website. Um, and really, you can use these images on any type of site that you have. Um, and they're free to use. You just have to credit the author or the photographer, actually. OK. So we're ready now to add our image so that we have some visual interest for this particular article. I've already gone ahead and downloaded the image that I want to my website. So in order to add an image, all you do is click this little icon here that says Add Image. And it'll give us a few different options on adding the image. Now we can add from a URL, or um, if we've already got in the image in our media library, we could do that. But in, the case, in this case, I don't. I just have the image saved on my desktop. So I want to click Select, um, select Files. I'm going to click on um, Desktop. And then here's my image of the willow tree. And so I've selected that. It's uploading the image uh, for me right now. If there's any difficulty that you have in uploading an image, you can click on the browser uploader, and that's a more basic type of um, uploading for your image. So now that the image upload is done, um, you know, the, the image name sometimes is saved differently. So in our case, I just want this to be willow tree. So I'm going to enter willow tree, if I can spell. <laughs> Uh, into this and then if you want to enter a description you can do that having a description for your images helps to uh, with the search engine your images will then start to come up in Google if you search for images and things like that so that's good because it'll drive people to your um, page and your site so in this case I'm just going to put willow tree again uh, you can make it more detailed if you wanted to and then it gives a link URL. Uh, this is the link, the direct link to that image now where it's going to be saved. And uh, that'll be wherever you have your images normally saved on your particular server or um, you know in your setup. Now, here are the other options we have for our image. We want to either have no alignment. We can align it left, center, or right. One thing you should know is that the first thing that people, uh, at least English uh, reading and speaking people, will do uh, when they look at a page is they're going to look to the top left-hand corner. So if you have an image there, that's great um, if the image is more important than the content. But if you want them to focus on the content, it's better to put the image on the right side. So in this case, I'm going to put the image on the right. We can choose of which size we want the image to be. Um, in our case, I think we'll be fine with the medium uh, image size. And we can go ahead and uh, save all of our changes. Or uh, actually, we're not going to save our changes. We're going to insert it into the post. So that's what I'm doing right now, insert into post. And voila, we see we have our image on the left, I mean the right as we wanted it and it's in our post. Now, if I decide, hey, maybe I want this image to be a little bit bigger than what it is, I can always click on the image, go back to edit image, and here I have a few options. So, 
In this case, uh, we can change to make the image smaller if we want. Uh, if we wanted to make it bigger, we could. The other thing that I wanted to point out is that, uh, you know, if you want to put in an image caption or alternate text for the image, you can do so in here. And so we're again going to make our alternate text. That's in case the image does not load. People will see the word willow tree. Okay, and then your image caption. This is your you also you always should give unless it's your own photo. You should always give some type of credit to the photographer. And in the case of the free images that people use on the web, that is usually a condition of the terms of use is that you give credit to the person who took the image. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that, and we'll say um, photo credit, and then I have the person who took the photo I have her name okay so now that that's done we're gonna go ahead and update it and now we see this wonderful image and it's got a frame with photo credit uh, as Kim Perry who is the person who took the image alright so now we want to take a look at uh, different categories because that's something else you'll have to set up so in our case if you don't put a category for a particular post it's going to just go automatically into uncategorized it's better to have a category in our case we don't have any new ones so we'll add a category called trees since that seems to be our theme add new category it's automatically now in the trees category again uh, you can add tags as well and let's just say our tag for this one is willow tree and I'm adding that so willow tree is now a tag you can also uh, set a featured image what that'll do is if you have the type of site uh, or a theme that on the front home page will display certain featured images or maybe you have a slider or some other type of um, visual uh, media that's scroller that's on your main page setting the featured image will help it to know what images should should display um, alongside of an excerpt or uh, par a portion of the text from that particular article. In our case, we want to make an excerpt, so uh, I'm just going to copy this first paragraph here, and I just put uh, Control C, and then Control V to paste that. You you could also write an, an excerpt of your own if you wanted to. And the final thing that you have um, is you can allow comments and trackbacks or if you don't want comments on this you could just simply unclick that in our case we want comments we want people to talk to us or ask us questions if they have questions so um, that's pretty much it in terms of how to create a post the final thing that you need to decide is let's say I'm not done maybe I want to save this as a draft so I can click save draft after that draft is done saving one of the things I usually like to do before I actually publish any post is go ahead and preview that so I'm just gonna right click on uh, preview and go ahead and have it open in a new tab so here's our preview of what this post is gonna look like and again this is just a very very basic default template or a theme that comes on WordPress of course you can have a theme that's more interesting than this if you want to but this is just a very very basic one and so we see now that our post that we put on all about the willow tree is here our sections are, um, are properly sectioned off with our subheadings in there and uh, everything looks great and in addition to that we could also add a comment if we were a person just coming to the site to read our post now I'm back at the screen just as a final um, note I'm back at the screen where we want to publish go ahead and publish our post we can publish it immediately if we want to or we can choose a specific date or time to publish it in our case we want to publish it immediately we go ahead and click published once we see that it has um, saved in you'll get a link here that says view post again when we click on that we'll get the same thing that we got before it'll show us what our website looks like now um, with the post on it and again it looks pretty identical to what we saw when we looked at the preview so uh, if you have any questions about how to create a post you can feel free to go ahead and email us or visit our website which is www.pearsoncommunications.com and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have or even create a tutorial if there's something that you want to know how to do on your WordPress 3.0 web website or blog. So again this is Cherie Pearson thanking you for joining me for the tutorial on how to create a post in WordPress 3.0. Thanks and have a great day.